Hi again. Uh, here's a continuation of the discussion of SpriteKit. And uh, in the last video, we created a, a game scene and we added two sprite nodes to the game scene and made them display on the uh, screen, right? We'll take a quick look. And while this is an okay method and you could build your entire game inside your game scene file, um, I'm going to recommend that we subclass SK Sprite Node and make special versions of our sprite node for various uses. So for example, this object right here is going to be a player object, right? So imagine this is our player and we want to control this guy and add a special animation to it and give it special properties. And maybe this is the ground. So the player moves along the ground here and the ground is going to have some special properties also. So rather than, you know, doing all of that in game scene, which can make game scene very large and awkward, um, let's make some subclasses, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete the box and then I'm going to delete all that and then I'm going to go to setup here and I'm going to delete everything in setup. Okay, so all that's gone. I'm going to leave this setup function here because I think that that will be useful later. Um, but here we go. We got init, we got setup and then we have view did or did move to view and touches began and all that stuff at the bottom. Okay, so for the first thing we need a first things first, right? Maybe we need a player object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here with a new um, a new Swift file, and I'll name it player. And our player object is going to um, subclass SK Sprite Node. So the first thing I need to do is I need to import Sprite Kit, and then I'll name this class player and I will subclass, subclass SK Sprite node, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to make a subclass of the Sprite node. So what I'll do here is I'll, I'll add an initializer for it, okay? And uh, maybe we'll mark this with a mark, you know, just to keep our co code organized, right? And um, as soon as we do this, um, uh, the compiler is going to give us an error and tell us that, hey, you know what, you need to include init with coder. So when I click on this, you can see it says, you know, required init with coder. So this init with coder is required because SK Sprite Node subclasses, um, or it follows the NS, co NS coding protocol, right? So it's it's got it's it has to, you know, you know, the NS coding protocol has this method in it, so we have to include this. If we don't have an initializer, then it uses the default initializer, which includes this one. But as soon as we add our own in it, then we have to add this to. We're actually not going to use this here, but uh, we'll leave it there, right? Okay, so now we're set, and then it's going to say that we didn't call super, okay? Now, here's a note. Um, some of these classes require that you use the default or the designated initializer when you when you call super, and SK Sprite Node is one of those. So when we call super for SK Sprite Node, we need to call on um, init with, and I'm going to go through these inits here. Let me actually do it this way, super dot in it, and um, you can see the list here. So this one says implemented by subclasses, um, supported coding and decoding, um, in it with a texture, in it with a file, initialize with a color, um, initialize with whatever, create something, creates and returns, and then it says designated initializer. So this one right here, in it with texture, color, and size. This is the required one. So when we create our own initializer, we have to call super, and this is the initializer that we have to call on, okay? So for right now, um, I'm going to just pass nil for texture because that's an option. Also, nil is a valid value. And for color, we can make it any color we want. Um, maybe we'll, um, oops, maybe we'll, uh, we'll use the cyan color that we were using before. And then for size right here, we can type in the size. Maybe I'll actually just set the uh, a variable for that. So I'll say player size equals CG size. And I think our other size was, you know, 40 by 60. Let's make it 30 by 60. I thought that other guy was a little too big. And then we'll put player size over here. 
Okay. Now later we're going to come back to this and modify this to make the player object and we'll set a texture and maybe give it an animation and some other features. But for right now, this will do all the work that we did in game scene and simplify our work when we put all the parts together in game scene. Okay. Um, so anyway, so here we go. We got our player there. And then uh, maybe we also want to make the ground, right? So actually, let, let's initialize, let's make an instance of player right here first, and then we'll, we'll make the ground. So I'm going to go back to, um, to game scene, and I'm going to add a new variable here called player, and I'll set the type to player. And then I'll need to initialize player over here. So I'll say player equals an uppercase player object. And then when, when we go to setup here, maybe I'll say, you know, add child player, and then we can place the player somewhere on the screen. Um, we'll set the X to, uh, what is it here, uh, size dot width divided by two. We'll just place it in the middle. We'll put it somewhere else later. Um, And then we'll do height divided by 2. Okay? So let's give that a test. And there we go, right? So there's our new player object. And that kind of simplifies a lot of the work here, right? We just make a player. And if our player has any other special features, we can just add it to his class here. Okay? Okay, so let's do the ground now. So in some cases, like with the case with the ground, we need to tell the ground how big it needs to be. <coughs> so I'm going to make a new class first. Call it ground. I'll save it to my project there. And this will import Sprite Kit. And we'll make a brand new class. Call it ground. And this will also be an SK Sprite node. And in this case, like I said, um, ground needs to know how big the scene is because the ground wants to be the size of the scene. Okay, So this time when we initialize ground, what we're going to do is we're going to initialize with a size. right? So we'll include a variable here for size. right? And again, um, when we initialize this, uh, since this is an SK Sprite Node subclass, SK Sprite Node is you know conforms to NS coding, so it has to have in it with coder. So Xcode reminds us that we need to include this, and then over here it's going to say that hey, you know you need to include um, super init. And like I said before, with the player object, when we do super init, since this is an SK Sprite Node, we have to call the designated initializer. So we're going to go find this one here. I think this is the one here. In it with texture, color, and size. Okay. So again, texture here is an optional. You can see the question mark. So I'll just set it to nil for now. And if we want to include a texture later on, we can change that. And then for color right there, we'll set it to brown color. We'll just use the same settings we used before. And then for size, we'll have to figure that out. So why don't we make a variable here and call it ground size equals you know CG size. And the width will be size. And in this case, size is our variable that we pass in. And it'll be size.width. And height will be, I don't know, 40, right? And then we can put uh, ground size over here, OK? And then maybe we'll put a couple marks in here just to make this um, easy to follow in the future. And maybe we'll include another mark down here. called setup and then we'll say function setup and you know in setup we'll have to make sure that we um, you know we do any other things that we're going to do for for ground right we'll, we'll come back to that later okay so anyway so our, our ground is set up pretty good there we got some comments in and then we'll go to our scene right so I'm going to switch to game scene again and we'll make a ground object I'll just define a variable here to, as type ground. And then in init, what I'll do is I'll say ground equals a new ground object. And ground, we need to include with a coder or initialize with a coder or initialize with a size, right? And so we've got a size here for our scene. 
And so we can just pass that into ground and tell ground how big the scene is, right? Okay, so that's pretty good. And then we can go back down to setup here and we can say, you know, add child ground. So ground is now part of our scene. And then we'll say, uh, you know, ground dot position x equals, you know, size dot width divided by 2. And then ground dot position y is ground dot size dot height divided by 2. Right? So there we go. That looks pretty good. And uh, we'll give that a test. And it should look pretty much like it did when we started. But now we're a little more organized because we've got our various object types in their own class files. And we can put all the extra code for those objects in those classes, right? So anyway, there's a quick, um, quick lesson on setting up your Sprite Kit projects using subclasses for SK Sprite Node.